for a moment it looked like they'd be raising two or six more in celebration. But faster than you can say over and out, Roger rallied. What a dynamite scene at the All England Club. The enormity of the moment was not lost on Murray. The Great Brit, the first to play for the Wimbledon Championship since 1938. Oh, we went to the archives to find the Bunny Austin footage. Lost in straight sets to Don Budge. Would Murray be the winner on Sunday? First set. Budging Federer right out of the gates. He broke him in the first game. Took a one-love lead. Fans at Murray's hometown of Dunblane, Scotland love it. Murray said the pressure brought out the best in him. Almost brought Federer to his knees. Look out. Murray would win the first set 6-4, nearly taking Federer's head off. Roger 3-5 when losing the first set of a Grand Slam. Second set, set point for Federer. Raj said this year I decided in the big games to make it my opponent's reason to go ahead and take what the best I have to give him. He wanted him to wait for mistakes. Federer won the second set, 7-5. Third set, rains come, play suspended for 40 minutes. The officials check the dampness. They would close the roof for the rest of the match. First time that happened at a championship. Still, the court was moist. Murray slipping, falling. Footing would be an issue for the rest of the set. Fast forward to the 10th different deuce of the game. Federer working the far court. Going to lob one to the baseline. Murray slips and falls. Never had a chance at it. Murray admitted when we came out after the break, Federer was more aggressive. In between sets, one of the ball boys bringing Murray a new pair of shoes. He said, I don't want those shoes. Just dry off the court for crying out loud. Break point for Federer in the fourth. How good is that backhand cross-court winner? Took a 3-2 lead. And then championship point number two for Federer. And the Swiss sensation does it again. His seventh Wimbledon championship wins at 4-6, 7-5, 6-3, 6-4. can't bring the title back to Great Britain. With the win, Roger Federer returns to the world number one. His 17th Grand Slam, that's most all-time among men. Only Margaret Court with 24 has more Grand Slams. Did it, of course, on the ladies' side. Federer 7-1 in Wimbledon finals. Murray now 0-4 all-time in major championships. Roger Federer is back at the top of the heap in men's tennis. I think I've played some of my best tennis, you know, in the last couple of matches. It's worked out so many times over the years here at Wimbledon that I play my best in the semis and the finals, obviously. I couldn't be more happy. Um, so it feels great being back, you know, here as, as the winner. It uh, feels so familiar. I've obviously missed playing in the finals, and uh, yeah, it's just it's a great moment. It, equal, it equals me with Pete Sampras, who's my hero, and uh, it just it just feels amazing. Uh, world number ones, you don't get the, those gifted. You know, I I was up two sets to love here in the quarters last year, uh, two set, two sets to love up and at the U.S. Open. So many chances, if you like, and uh, maybe I got nervous. Maybe the other guys were just too, too good, you know. But you know, I never stopped believing, and I started playing more, even though I have a family. And I don't know, it all worked out. I got great momentum, great confidence, and it all came together. So it's just, uh, it's a magical moment for me. Now, no man in history has appeared in more Wimbledon finals than Roger Federer, who improves to seven and one. His seventh Wimbledon title ties William Renshaw and Pete Sampras for most all-time among men. Federer also becomes the first male 30 or older to win at the All England Club since Arthur Ashe in 1975. Meantime, an emotional scene after the match for Wimbledon's new favorite son. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Right, I'm going to try this and it's not going to be easy. Uh, firstly, I'd like to congratulate Roger. Um, he Everybody uh, always talks about the pressure of playing at Wimbledon, how, how tough it is, but um, the, it's not the, the people watching. They make it so much easier to play. The support has been, been incredible, so thank you. Program. How bad did he want it? How bad did they want it in Great Britain? They have been cheering for Tim Hedman for years and now Andy Murray for years and 
It's been close, close, close for him. Three times he's played Federer in a Grand Slam final. Roger Federer is the greatest tennis player in the world. He is, he is. No shame there. Fred Perry, the last British man to win Wimbledon way back in 1936. Later on Sports Center.